Thank you. Thank you, Clint. Uh, good morning, um, ladies and gentlemen. The next presentation is um, delivering the postgraduate diploma in labor law online in the period of COVID-19, presented by Roger Roni and NS Boyce. Over to you, um, speakers. Matthew, are you presenting or are they presenting? Are we, are we presenting? It's fine. I should, be sh I should have shared my screen with you now. Oh, right. thank you. Yes, I can see your screen. Uh, <laughs> I am just wanting to say that the I've been completely blown away by my colleagues who are absolutely just walking the talk in amazing ways, and I found this so far an absolutely interesting uh, day's work. So, for this session, Ernest and I, who are both uh, fixed term contract workers at uh, social law project in the law faculty. Uh, we'll just briefly run through the uh, contextual uh, background for the um, postgraduate diploma in labor law. And uh, I'll cover the first section and, and this will pick up on student observations, challenges, uh, limitations, and some of the remedies uh, that we've been proposing. The, the program is the Postgraduate Diploma in Labor Law, it's 120 credit program, uh, it's four modules and it's at level eight qualification. It's delivered in partnership with the CCMA and basically run at eight different universities across the country. The target group, as far as the students are concerned, are working professionals in the labor law field. Uh, and basically the purpose and the objective of the program is to deliver at the end of the program ready to practice uh, commissioners so that they could either be engaged and employed at the CCMA alternatively at a bargaining council. The student profile is basically uh, made up of employment and industrial relations practitioners uh, in both the private and the public sector. We have trade union leaders on the program and we have people who are bargaining council representatives. Uh, on average, we draw about 70 registered students per year, and the majority of these students are hold down full-time employment. So they have to find a balance between working a full day and finding the space to, to fit in their studies. The entrance requirement is an LLP or other equivalent uh, qualification or uh, qualification of equivalent standard. We also are able to pull in an RPL cohort of students. And we have found that although the majority, large majority, have an LLP or a, any, some other degree, the RPL students are actually able to fit in very easily uh, into the program. The people on the academic staff who actually teach are they also contract lecturers, uh, from which some of them are practicing attorneys, some of them are senior CCMA commissioners. We have some master graduates in employment law, and all of them themselves are engaged in full time employment outside of UCT. The, the lectures take place on a uh, lectures take place on a Saturday, and there are two full time staff earners and myself who serve as the student academic support. We also now, since the uh, introduction of COVID, uh, also assist with lecture logistics, ensuring that there's proper connectivity, that the lecture is online, that all the work has gone out to, to students uh, timelessly. An important component of this particular program is that the continuous assessment has to encompass at least one research essay with a total word count of 5,000 plus. Now, that the program therefore is very content heavy and it requires of students to do an enormous amount of reading, particularly of case laws and relevant journal articles. And so we have, we have to find a way in which uh, 
we can share the material with the uh, students, but also ensure that the reading and the times allocated for reading into the normal and built into the normal uh, workday. Uh, before COVID, uh, we used the Canva mainly as a repository for uh, course resources, etc., and also for the loading up of assignments. The, all of the lectures were face-to-face -face lectures, uh, which were normally held on a Saturday, normally running from about uh, nine in the morning till about 2.30 in the afternoon. The, since the COVID hit us midway through 2020, uh, we broadened the use of Ecamba. So it became a repository both for course resources and assignments, but also for storing the recordings of each of the lectures. Uh, we started using the uh, big blue button, uh, slide presentations, both uh, narrated and unnarrated announcements, uh, tests and quizzes, and also the online exams, uh, end of term exams. The, we also introduced a WhatsApp group for the class and both the lecturers and academic support staff uh, form part of the, the WhatsApp group. Uh, and it's used mainly to facilitate group work, but also as a a tool by which the students are able to communicate with each other and share uh, some of concerns, uh, see clarity on certain uh, legal issues or principles that they're not able to uh, unpack from the readings that they give. We have shifted from the big blue button to using the Google Meet tool more recently. Uh, we started the online courses with uh, on-campus streaming and the use of the document camera. Uh, thereafter, we, we reverted to off-campus streaming. The first part of on-campus streaming was precisely because uh, there were no students involved and we were able to, the lecturers were able to use the whiteboard, et cetera, to be able to, to continue lecturing in the way they would normally have done if the class was present. Uh, we then, all, as I said, successfully went back to, to using uh, off-campus streaming. Currently, the postgrad lectures, con uh, lectures consist of two sessions per day, a Saturday, and with this one break in between, and they last for three and a half hours. Uh, immediately at the conclusion of these uh, lectures, they are loaded onto Canva for those students who couldn't join us to, uh, to be part of it. Uh, what we do have is that the lecturers uh, share the monthly industrial uh, law journal summaries, the IR and weekly IR network uh, summaries, and other relevant judgments, regular journal articles, etc., are loaded onto Canva or shared uh, via the WhatsApp group. This is to keep uh, the students as uh, briefed as possible with latest court judgments and latest developments in the field of industrial and labor relations. We've also Good used, morning. yeah, we've Good also been compelled to use the CCMA videos as the replacement for observation practicals before people could go into the CCMA observe and write up as part of an assignment. Uh, unfortunately, we now have to use uh, the CCMA videos. Ernest, you can continue with the second part. Well, I still have time left because you almost fell 10 minutes. But anyway, you've touched on a few things I've got to deal with the challenges, the feedback, the challenges, and the remedies of the students. Um, although convenient online teaching, they still do experience challenges, which is sometimes major or minor. And seeing that Roger already touched on it, we do have two sessions. So we normally have full attendance for the first session. But then we have the late joinings and due to connectivity and everything. But the problem with our um, 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 access of the platform and joining it, it, it actually um, becomes relevant in the second session after the break, because then the numbers just decline because of connectivity. Roger, could you go to the second slide, please? We want to deal with it quickly. The following one, please. The challenges. Are you there? Roger. 
Roger. The, the, the challenge slide is up. Oh, okay. So the, our challenges is basically exactly the same like the previous presenters have presented. We normally have five students that are struggling with the we do have students that are struggling with the online lectures. They prefer face-to-face -face lectures though, though. And the most common problems that we have is the data and the, you know, the non-conducive environment to study in. And the students are struggling really with the devices and stuff like that. But um, the constraints that they have, we try to work through with though. And the major constraints that we're actually having with the online lectures is the late submissions that we're going through. That is actually the major problem that they enjoy. And we have normally full numbers where that is concerned. So the, 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 the challenges with, with our students is, is it's mainly close to the minority, like, you know, 10, 4, 5% of them. But we do have um, 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 remedies that we use. Roger, would you go to the last, last slide, please? So um, we have a support group, which is me and Roger. So what we do, if, 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 if students have a problem with it, we communicate on all telecoms just to bring them on par with the lectures and, 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 and the understanding of the work and the quality of all the work. And we, 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 if, 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 if the online platforms doesn't work, then we go to telephonic um, consultations, which, which, which obviously, and I find that students are not very really confident to interact on the online platform, but they will do it via WhatsApp groups and tele, telephones. And, and that's how we, we try to keep the, the, the quality of the program itself intact. That's about it. Thank you very much.